Hey guys, many people using Make wonder how they can create Midjourney images. And that's not so easy because Midjourney has an API, but that API is not official. So you need uh, other tools to make that happen. And I solved this and I want to show you in this video um, how to make this. So first of all, you need a Discord account uh, for Midjourney. I don't show you how to do that. You have to look that up somewhere else. But when you are in Discord, then you need to add your own server. Uh, you can do so by uh, click this icon here at the server and create my own for me and my friends. You give it a name and then you click on create. And of course you can select a picture here. And once you created the server, you find it here. I already did that. You click on it. And the first thing that you have to do is to make it private. So you click here on uh, general and you switch, go to permissions and then you switch on private channel. Then you can close that. And then we want to add a channel. You click on this create channel button here, give the channel a name, set it to private and click on create channel. Then you have this channel here, for example, and I named it user API make, uh, just that I recognize what it is. The next thing we have to do is we need to add the Midjourney bot to our channel. And to do so, you just go back to the official Midjourney channel here, select one of those uh, rooms here, for example, the newest room, and you find Midjourney bot here from time to time in that list. And you click on Midjourney bot, then you say add app, add to server, and then you can select your server here. And when you do that and you click on continue, you need then to authorize uh, all permissions that uh, are shown to you. When you go back then to your channel, then you click on permissions, and then you click on add members or roles, add the role mid-journey bot and add the member mid-journey. That's it so far. In order to test if it worked, you just go to your channel and you select the imagine prompt and you enter some prompt, maybe a pizzaiolo baking a pizza napoletana in a wooden oven. So and you just fire it up, then you have to wait for some seconds until the picture is generated. As soon as the picture was generated, you know that everything is working very well. So next thing we have to do is in your address here, you see discord.com slash channels, and then you see here two numbers split by a slash, and you have to store these two numbers uh, somewhere else. We need those later. Now we need one more step. If you are on Windows, hit uh, Control, Shift, and J. If you are on a Mac, uh, hit uh, Command and Option and J. And then this weird window pops up. And uh, what you're going to do is uh, you click on Network. And after you did that, you go to your uh, Midjourney bot here and you type the word slash info. And then you hit Enter. And as soon as you did that, you find here in this network section, you find here an entry which is called interactions. And when you click on that entry here and you scroll down a little bit, you search for the word authorization, which is here. And you need to copy this key that is shown here and put it uh, somewhere else. We need that later. In order to use this now in Make, we head over to the web page userapi.ai and there you create an account and you sign in. And once you're signed in, you have your dashboard here and your Discord accounts. And what you're doing here is you click on Add Account and then you have to enter the token. And the token is the authorization key that you just copied from that weird window before. Here's your channel ID. This is the number that was in the URL and then the API, G, uh, API key is generated. Once you start it, you have the possibility to select a free plan here and the free plan enables you to use it about uh, 50 times or so. Then you click on add 
And then you have that entry here, and that's it so far. Now we head over to make and create our scenario. To use that whole thing in make.com, we need to create three scenarios. I prepared them already, so that's scenario one, scenario two, scenario three. And you see they are pretty simple, but uh, it's important to understand how that works. Just imagine the following. In this scenario, you call Midjourney and uh, prompt it to create an image. And as you know from Discord, you have to wait a certain time. And instead of just waiting forever here, um, we use the second scenario. And the second scenario is called automatically as soon as the image is ready. And therefore, we need a so-called webhook module and this webhook, this is just an URL that is called as soon as the process is over. Then we upscale the image. In this example, I just used the image number one of those four images. And again, this upscaling mechanism uh, needs to call then an another webhook. And then we get the final image. Then we can download it and put it somewhere else. For example, here in my case, just in a Google Drive. So I show you the, de the details now. In the first uh, module, we use uh, user API, just add a module, user API, imagine this one here. And uh, what do you have to do here? You create your connection. And in your connection, the only thing that you really need is from your dashboard here, this API key. So you just copy it and put it in your connection. And then you create the prompt that you use for generating a mid-journey picture. And of course, this is very simple and stupid. What I did here, I just wrote the prompt directly in the field. And this one's the webhook. Where do we get it? We get this webhook URL from the second scenario, where we create this webhook module. And when you create such a module, uh, you get this URL here. You copy that URL to the clipboard and just put it into here. And this is what connects these two modules then together. And the other set setting that you have to do is post data once when generation is complete. So you are not informed during the generation process, but at the end. So this module, this scenario is finished. Then we check out the second scenario. As I said, this webhook is called as soon as the images, the four images are generated. And when I click here on this webhook, you see nothing else than these, uh, I called it mid-journey response, so I understand what it means. And then we use the next uh, user API AI module, which is the upscale module. And here we need the hash, and the hash is just a result from the webhook. You can see that here, you just select that entry here. And then, well, it, I made it very simple. You know, you have two by two images uh, when Midjourney creates the first uh, in the first iteration the images, and uh, the position is upper left is one, upper right is two, lower left is three, lower right is four, and of course you can upscale all four and do something uh, else with them what you want to do. Okay, and again we need a webhook, and this is the webhook for the third. Uh, scenario, as soon as we upscaled that selected image, the third scenario is called. Again, this webhook, this is the URL that we used in the second one. And as soon as this is then called, we can download the image, simple module, just HTTP module, we just select the URL from this webhook here. Where is it here, URL? And then we upload the image to my Google Drive, to a shared drive, and I have some demo folder here, and that's it. So, and when we want to generate this picture now, um, let's see, then we have to run this webhook scenario, and they are waiting now. The other webhook scenario is also waiting. And then we start this first scenario where we create the mid-journey image. Click on Run. And now in our dashboard, we should see, yeah, there it is. The Imagine photo of Darth Vader 
And you see here the progress, so that's life. And as soon as this progress is finished, our second scenario will be called. So let's go over there. There it is. Upscale is called. In a dashboard, upscaling is done. Third scenario is called, and now the image is uploaded. There it is. <laughs> Great. Okay, let's summarize this. Um, create a Discord account. Um, subscribe to Midjourney. You need to pay for uh, creating pictures with Midjourney. Create your own server. Uh, create a channel. Add the Midjourney button to the channel. Um, go to user API. Uh, create your account, add your Discord account here with all these tokens and numbers and authorization codes, then create the mid-journey scenario with Imagine, which calls then the webhook and you get the four images and you upscale one or all these four images, uh, which is then sent to the next webhook and then you can download the image and put it somewhere you want to use it. So I hope you like it and you can just follow these instructions. Um, if you have any questions, contact me at any time and I try to answer and to help you. Thanks. See you soon.